Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about fasting and schizophrenia and how fasting can improve your chances of recovery from schizophrenia. And we'll also talk about some cerebral allergens, some allergens of the brain that can be detrimental to your chances of recovering from schizophrenia. Um, it's actually these cerebral allergies are quite common, so uh, eliminating uh, gluten and milk, as we'll discuss, can be quite helpful in recovery from schizophrenia. So let's get started with the first slide in the presentation. So Professor Yuri Nikolov, uh, a psychiatrist from the Soviet Union, uh, did 30-day water fasts, and within five to seven days, most patients' mania was brought under control. Patients lose 15 to 20 percent of their body weight. Once discharged, they were to told to do fasts monthly for three to five days. A specific meal plan. Uh, patients were asked to follow a specific meal plan after the fast. And there is a link in the description of what that meal plan consisted of. I do not think the meal plan is the best meal plan to follow. Um, but it is what uh, Yuri Nikolov used, and uh, Abram Hoffer, who also did fasting, who we'll discuss in a second, had a different take on the meal plan, so you'll see that in a second. So 70% um, of people recovered during the fast, and 46% who continued to follow the diet plan, uh, including the monthly fasts, and the specific foods you were to eat and avoid uh, were healthy and re working often with families at the six year mark. There was a connection to increased NAD from fasting, uh, similar to uh, what niacin provides. And um, we discussed that in the adrenochrome video, um, uh, which talked about uh, how uh, increasing NAD increases your chances of recovery from schizophrenia by quite a lot. Uh, so there is a connection between NAD and fasting and niacin and NAD. So Abram Hoffer, uh, the founder of the Orthomolecular School of Psychiatry, a psychiatrist who lived in Canada, uh, had also had success with water to fast. He did a four day water fast uh, that led to a 66% recovery rate on the fifth morning. And these were fasts were done on people who did not recover using his niacin, orthomolecular niacin uh, theory, um, ad adrenochrome theory of schizophrenia. So he would first provide vitamins and minerals. If that did not work, he would do a controlled water fast uh, in the psychiatric facility. And uh, that would often lead, as this says, to a 66% recovery rate on the fifth morning. 75% of people who didn't respond well to niacin and around 50% of the general schizophrenia community were found to be allergic to dairy, cow milk, uh, after being challenged with dairy after a water fast. When dairy was eliminated, along with gluten and most sugars, patients would often recover without the need of any supplements or pharmaceutical treatments. So a water fast leads to a 66% recovery rate in schizophrenics who did not respond to niacin, according to Abram Hoffer. According to Nikolov, it was a 70% recovery rate who responded to fasting. Abram Hoffer discovered that dairy was the culprit in a lot of these cases. 
and eliminating dairy would lead to recovery from schizophrenia in many patients who had schizophrenia. Um, so it, it's thought that um, it's the protein. Uh, the protein uh, A1 casein, lactose is the carbohydrate. The protein is A1 casein. It's thought that um, schizophrenics have an allergic reaction to the A1 casein, which leads to their symptoms of schizophrenia. And upon elimination of dairy, schizophrenics often will recover without the need of supplements or pharmaceuticals. So um, this is really a uh, groundbreaking piece of information. Um, I hope it uh, comes across to you. I hope it finds you in a uh, welcoming place to it. And I hope you consider eliminating dairy. You can consider doing fasts for that 70% or 66% recovery rate. You can try water fasts, but do try eliminating dairy. Consider eliminating gluten and sugar and refined foods. And you should see remarkable improvements to your symptoms of schizophrenia. We'll just discuss this. The carnivore diet is thought to mimic fasting without the ca caloric deficit. So if you want to try um, going without carbs, uh, not just keto, but carnivore. Uh, keto may be um, similar, but carnivore takes it a step uh, in a more therapeutic direction, people think. This is kind of an experimental treatment, but you can try going carnivore and you should see um, perhaps that 66 or 70% recovery rate that Abram Hoffer and Nick, Yuri Nikolov discovered uh, for schizophrenics who do fasting. Try to buy high quality foods. Uh, try to eat nutritious foods. Um, I know it's hard to be motivated as a schizophrenic, especially early on in the disease, but if you can um, become a little more active with an exercise routine and then uh, uh, implement some uh, positive dietary changes, uh, your body will thank you for it and uh, your um, medical uh, uh, costs should decrease. References are in the description. So everything I've talked about today, uh, you can look below in the description. You can uh, look it up, verify it, uh, discuss it, share it. And, uh, and uh, I hope uh, you find this video useful. I hope you learned something and I wish you the best once again on your recovery from schizophrenia. Thank you and good night.